Now then, what should I do today? First things first, I'm a gangster, a hustler, sucker, you a buster. Akane! Oh, it's you. I'm busy training right now. Go away. What should I do? Should I invite Akane to hang out? Then you have to train too, got it? I guess we're training. I devoted myself to training with Akane today. Looks like Akane and I grew a little closer. Of course. Oh, you're giving this to me? You know me so well, thanks. Uh, um, Hajime. You made sure you forgot what you saw, right? What I saw? Oh, you mean we were in the storage room, she got my name right. I'll kill you. This anger is the real deal. I don't think she's just embarrassed about what happened. Still, I think everyone is scared of something. Eh. Plus, there's no one to be scared, and you're a girl, so... Damn it. Stop it. Just stop it. Don't treat me like I'm weak. Huh? I'm not weak. Being weak is bad. If you get kicked around and beat up or cry and scream like there's no food or medicine, no one will help you. And the next time you say someone's name, next time I say someone's name, I might be talking about a dead body. That's, that's the kind of place I grew up in. Weak people dying, there's nothing you can do about it. No matter what happens, you can't complain. What's wrong with being weak? It's normal to be weak, bro. Humans feel overwhelmed sometimes and even cry. I know I do, so what's wrong with that? I don't think real, I don't, I don't think real strength means you don't accept your weaknesses. I think real strength means you overcome. It's weird, when I talk to you, I feel like I'm getting really weak or something. Damn it. I was much stronger when I was alone, so stop saying things that don't make sense. Akane, how can I get this through to her? I need to explain this in a way that she'll understand. Too many cooks spoil the broth, I guess. I'm not like, neither, none of these make sense to me. As, as long as we all run a red light? Um, how should I put this? You know, as long as we all run a red light, you can't do that. It's dangerous. You'll get run over. You're right. But I get what you're trying to say. How? I don't even get what he was trying to say. When everyone's together, they can make up for their weaknesses. That's what you mean, right? You? But you can't run a red light, not ever. You're right. She's probably sensitive about stuff like this because she has younger siblings. You're not weak at all, Akane. You don't need to try and be so hard by yourself. Especially in this situation. We should all work together and do our best, right? I offered my hand and Akane cautiously gripped it. Just as I thought, her hands were very warm. Coach Nekomaru said something similar. But I didn't understand, so I didn't listen, but... Somehow I understand now. Your words make sense to me. Hey. Wow, Hajime. Y you're warm. This is the, the first time oh. I've ever felt someone this warm. I kind of gripped my hand tightly. Hold on. I feel a strong bond forming between the kind and me. Hold on. That's right. We are not alone. You are not alone. I am here with you. Only far away. I am here to stay. That's right, we're not alone. We can move forward and overcome our words and hesitations. I hope Akina, who's been living alone her whole life, is able to understand that even if it's just a little. Woo! Akina's report card has been updated. Peach Muscle. I don't want that. I don't want this. I do not at all want this. Why did you give this to me? Why did you give this to me? I would have rather her gave me a broken arm. I don't want this. After talking to Akane about some other things, I returned to my cottage. Still bright outside. No way I should stay in my room and stare up in the space. Why the freak would they give me that? I ain't been in here in a minute. Hey, Chiaki. 
What should I do? She seems really focused on gaming. Should I ask if she wants to hang out? Mm. Uh, I lost my focus and got killed. It's gonna be fine. Oh, you don't have to worry about it. I mean, I was doing pretty well, but now I have to do it all over again. Ah, <sighs> uh, that was my first time getting that far too. Dang, I done got her killed. Hey, she'll be fine. I spent today trying to ease Chiaki, who seemed to be holding a slight grudge. <laughs> we grew a little closer. <laughs> Gotta give her a present. Huh, is that, isn't that a pretty rare item? Oh, what the freak? This seems a little... I feel like it might raise a flag. Dang, she just fell! Bruh! Yo, if you're that sleepy, why don't you just go back to your room and rest? Good morning. Uh, no, since you're here, let's talk. If you give up at this level, you'll never defeat the Warlock Lord. My adventure ended like this. That's all you're gonna get. Looks like she's half asleep. Huh? Uh, I can't believe you don't get my Shadow Gate joke. Hey, if you're bored, do you want to go somewhere? It might wake you up if you go for a walk. Mm. I want to go to a fun place. A fun place, huh? The supermarket? Should we go check out the supermarket? Yep. I like running over zombies with skateboards and wheelchairs. Chainsaws are the strongest, though. It sounds fun, so it's fine. What? I, okay, yeah. If she's fine with it, let's go. I figured, I figured she wouldn't like the park since that's like physical activity and she's a gamer and stuff. So I was like, supermarket maybe. Chiaki and I walked to the supermarket together. We walk, oh, and plus, sometimes just kind of window shopping is fun sometimes. Like when you just kind of, even if you do end up buying something, just walking around looking at stuff and, I mean, if you have the money, just buying whatever whatever you spy, whatever stands out, that's, it's, it's low-key kind of fun. We walked through the aisles and looked around without buying anything. Because the place is so big, it has an amazing selection of goods. Christmas ornaments, bamboo grass with a star festival. This place has too much of everything. What happened, Chiaki? What is this? These sweets look cute. Oh, those are the sweet rice crackers for girls day. Man, this place seriously has everything. I see, they're called sweet rice crackers. You eat them during girls day, you know? What's girls day? Huh? You know it's on March 3rd, you're a girl? Didn't you set celebrate it with your family? Ah, uh, crap. I'm sure she has her reasons for not knowing, but even so, I... Ah, uh, no, it's nothing. Forget what I said. Uh, nope. I don't really mind. I did have a family, my father. You had a father, then your mother... No, I shouldn't ask something about that. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, so what is girls day anyway? It's like a dog festival held on March 3rd. Dolls are set up so you can pray for um, girls' health and success. And then you eat stuff like sweet rice crackers or mochi that comes in different colors. Mm. I see. <laughs> That's amazing, Hajime. You know a lot. It's nothing, really. I'm not saying everyone is supposed to know this, but for her not to know what Girls' Day is, what kind of past does Chiaki have? It's fun to go places with someone. Plus, you teach me lots of interesting things. Hey, let's go somewhere again, okay? Yeah, let's do this again. We made that promise and left the supermarket. Need to think about a place I could take Chiaki that'll make her happy. You basically taking her out on dates, dude. Like, I took Chiaki back to her room. Otherwise, she'd just find a random place to fall asleep if I let her be. It's time for the next motive. It is now. Please return now, Ben. Sweet. Oh, no motive this time? It's not like I have anything to do, so I should just get some sleep for today. It should be okay to have a peaceful day like this for a change. You guys? It's a waste of time to constantly worry about things. Well, if you really want to waste time that badly, I won't stop you. I'm not saying that killing is meaningless time is b killing meaningless time is bad or anything. I mean, even happy times, sad times, painful times, fun times, times you want to remember and want to forget. They all end up becoming nostalgic memories eventually. So isn't killing time by worrying about things an effective way of dealing with that worry? Do your best at worrying about things and killing time.
Zoom. Hope's Peak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. I need everybody to get oiled up, go to the park, and throw it back. Why are you in my room? Good morning. Looks like today's gonna be another perfect tropical day. What the freak? What a huge success ever since such a nice reaction. How did you get in my room? Jeez, Hajime, you're so careless. Careless? I made sure to lock the door. And I destroyed that worthless lock. Why did you destroy it? Who cares? There's something important I need to tell you. You're gonna get me killed, bro. But the four has no that was just three uh, if you got time to nitpick others then hurry and meet me at the restaurant i'll explain the details there so i'm counting on you she's like a hurricane but she did hit a time to come all the way to my cottage to summon me something bad happened again feeling a little depressed now i mean she seemed kind of happy so i doubt anything bad's happened when i arrived at the restaurant the first thing i saw was Everyone's backs. They were forming a circle around something. Hey, what happened? As I said that, I peeked over everyone's shoulders. I got something I want to say. For you, Hiko, is it okay for you to be moving around like this so soon? Yeah, he shouldn't be okay. Whatever I say after this point, I apologize in advance if I make a mistake. My last name is Kuzurio. My first name is pronounced Boo Yu He Ko. I'm still an inexperienced member of my family's business. From this point forward, I hope we get along so we can get to know each other better. I think I told my boy who who told me to play this. I think I told him. I, I told him like I wasn't rocking with Fuyu Hiko. He's probably my most hated character. But I told him after that, I was like, but I can see that he's going to become a very important and a very good character later on. And I was, I, it looks like I'm right. I called him out. I told my boy, I told my boy, I don't like him right now, but something's telling me, something's telling me that in a few chapters, he's going to become a very good, he's going to become a very likable character to me. And it's already looking like it's about to happen. You fiend. Just now. Just what the hell was that? It's nothing really, just a greeting. There's no way that was just a greeting. And yet I feel like that was the first time for you Hiko ever greeted us. <laughs> um, that eye patch of yours. Nothing. Ah, uh, it's nothing. There's no way that's nothing since that eye is no longer. So you can't see out of it, huh? huh. It's only one eye. Plus, don't look like I've gained some prestige or something. However. For you Hiko. Why are you acting all cool and stuff? Don't you understand the position you're in right now? Hiyoko. Yeah. Do you really think we'll forgive you that easily for what you did? Understand? Don't you get it? It's your fault that Mahiru's dead. No, it's not just Mahiru. Peko died because of you too. Hey. It's all your fault. Oh. Um, Hiyoko, we've finally been able to get together with everyone. And? Huh? So what if we're all here? You better not say we're friends or something. Shut up. There's no way a killer like Ken will ever be our friend. Yeah, you're right. It's all my fault. I already know that it's my fault that those two are dead. You. Are you planning to give us your so what attitude? I... It's not that. As he squeezed out those words, Fuyuhiko suddenly collapsed to the ground. Fuyuhiko! Huh? What the heck? Hey, don't mess with me. Do you really think we're gonna forgive you if you just drop to your knees and cry? Do you really think a half-assed apology will make us forget what you've done? No. I don't think that at all. Oh, did his wounds open up? This is... For your hiccups, he slid his own stomach. Huh? Are you saying he cut his own freaking stomach? What, the? Ooh, what are you doing?
You fool, that doesn't mean you should slice your stomach. We must carry him to the hospital as soon as possible. You're right. Kazuichi, leave me a hand. This is bad. Yeah, sure thing. Stop it. I can walk there myself. There's no way you can walk. Uh, even though I took the time to patch you up, now I need to sew your wounds all over again. I feel so ashamed. In the end, I made trouble for everyone again. Who cares about that? Let's go. The others carry Fuyuhiko out of the restaurant. But for those of us who were left there... Well, this is awkward. How should I start up a conversation? <laughs> Bro wants to start a conversation after that. Well? Hey, Hiyoko, I've been thinking about this for a while, but... Um... What would Mahiru say about all this? I know you guys were best friends, so what do you think? <laughs> what would Mahiru say? What would Mahiru say? She'd probably get mad. Really mad. And after she got mad... She'd be cool. It's definitely not possible. There's no way it'd be that easy to move on. We never had to think about death until we came to this island. So when we're forced to confront it so suddenly, there's no way we'd know how we're supposed to deal with it. We are not that strong. Hey. Hmm, this is a rare occurrence. If you're thinking about saying something inappropriate again, now's not the best time. No, it's not that. Does anyone know where Akane is? Huh? Uh, now that you mention it, she's gone. It's so strange of her not to join us for breakfast. Hmm. Uh, I have a bad feeling about that too. A bad feeling. I mean, hasn't she been acting weird these past few days? How pitiful. She's always weird. Hmm. Uh, but I'm a little worried though. She's not the only one I'm worried about. An awkward feeling lingered as we finished breakfast. Soon after, we all decided to return to our cottages. I never felt so fatigued in the morning before. It's probably because of everything that's happened. But I should put that feeling aside and move on. There's no such thing as a useless day for us anymore. Ah, uh, where the heck is Akane? Oh, she's in, Oh, she's at the market. Okay. All right. I'll go see what's up with her, bro. I'm not gonna hang out with her since I already have her maxed out. I just want to see what's up with her. Like, why is she here? Huh. What do you want? I don't feel like talking to you right now. I feel like I have to see what's up with her. Huh. I feel like I have to see what's up with her. Do whatever you want. I'll be training. Watch her kind of devote herself to training. Oh, that's why. All right, that makes sense. She's been she's just been training a bunch. Uh, Def, let's give her something. I can really have this, right? All right. Once I accept this, I'll never return it to you, no matter what. I just needed to know, bro, because if she was, like, about to die or something, like, if it turned out that she was planning on something that was going to get her killed, and, like, I could have found out earlier and saved myself from the sudden grief, like, you know. I don't like to be blindsided. I mean, I do like being blindsided, actually, with a lot of these things. It's, it kind of, being getting blindsided adds to the fun a bit, but I don't want to be blindsided. Huh, what happened? Are you bored or something? What should I do? Hang out with Chiaki? Well... I'm bored too. Let's think of a way to kill time together. Hmm. Oh, we could kill time with that, I think. I killed time with Chiaki as we thought about different ways to kill time. Looks like Chiaki and I grew a little closer. That's one way to kill time, I guess. That's definitely a way to kill time. You're giving this to me? Thanks, I'll take good care of it and use it. Every single time. I can't believe how quickly she falls asleep in such a short time. Samurai head. Statue of Liberty. Ah, oh, don't shoot the beam there. This is bad. Zombie nation ending up humans. Is she dreaming about a game? I have no idea what kind of dream she's having. Sorry. Ah, uh, sorry. I think I was sleeping again. Were you playing a video game in your dream too? Yeah, it was fun because it was a shooting game. 
I see. So you like those kind of games? Yep. I'm pretty all inclusive. I'll play anything from Space Invaders to the latest military shooters. Uh, I also like simulation games. Right now, I mainly play real time strategy games. I like the turn based ones too. Hey, hey. So, where do you want to go today? Yeah, how about we go to the ranch today? I don't really like animals that much. Huh, really? Mm. They're warm when you touch them, you know? That's a little scary. It's kind of hard to guess what they'll do next. Well? I'm better at games that use precise calculations, where success and failure were decided by numerical values. But it's hard for me to play games where I have to manage relationships and guess what characters are feeling. I see. Maybe that has something to do with her upbringing. I don't want to do things Shiaki would hate, but it feels lonely to just leave her like this. How about we look at the animals from far away? The, the ones at the ranch are pretty tame. You can even try to touch them if it looks safe. Okay. I think. If you teach me lots of things, it'll probably be okay, I think. Is she re relying on me? If so, that makes me happy. Aw, oh, that's cute. Chiaki and I decided to walk to the ranch. Hmm. Oh my, it's a cow. I wonder if it's gonna dance like the one in Dancing Eyes. I don't... I, that might be a little difficult. Maybe I should try touching it a little. She's gonna get eight. She's about to get eight. Chiaki walked up to the cow and cautiously pet his back. The cow seemed not to mind and continued silently eating grass. Wow, it's really warm. Well, that's because it's alive. Hmm. I see, you're right. Unlike humans, animals don't mind being touched that much, so it might make it easier for me. If you touch a person, something is born from that interaction, right? Repulsion, anticipation, attraction, whatever. I'm nervous about stuff like that. It makes me think it's, I'm better off not doing anything unnecessary. Like, it's better if I just stay an innocent bystander for as long as I can. Chiaki's feelings seem a little odd, but I do understand where she's coming from. I hope one day she can, not sh she can touch not just cows, but people too. Ah, uh, you know, if we milk this cow, I'm sure the fresh milk would be really tasty. Hey, hey. Milk this cow? Huh? You know that milk comes from cows, right? What do you mean, from? Milk is milk, right? You know if you pull a cow's udders, milk comes out. You only need one cow to get as much milk as you want. Huh? As much as you want. <laughs> but if you try to cut open a milk bottle, a cow comes out of it, right? And it dances, right? I knew it! It's, it's definitely dancing eyes! Seriously, what is she talking about? I explained how milk works to Chiaki in detail. Why are there so many things she doesn't know? Is she stupid? <laughs> What's up with her? <laughs> she a little like that, bro. Chiaki started feeling sleepy from playing too much. So after sending her off, I returned to my room. Getting dark outside, it's nighttime already. I felt fast. Ever since I arrived at this island, the day passes by the day passes by abnormally fast. Who is at my door? Does that mean someone's here? Cautiously walked to the door and opened it slowly, wary of what might be on the other side. Nice to have met ya. <laughs> it's the past him. Nice to meet you. You know, since we've already exchanged nice to meet yous. Evil to you again. That's totally it. Allow me to apologize for surprising you with my sudden visit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, it's a lot better than last time when you literally broke into my room. <laughs> Ty, you must be the type that holds grudges. My ears and joints hurt. That means you have gout. So what do you want? Um, Ibuki doesn't get it either, but it looks like an invitation was sent to everyone. Invitation? Yes. See, this is the thing. What? That's totally a girl's writing. Let's see. Recovery party for Fuyuhiko at Titty Type <laughs> at 9 o'clock PM. What is it? Is this Monokuma's doing again? Why you? How rude. Don't put that in the same category as Monokuma. Is this your doing? I don't know what you're talking about at all. Ibuki just just brought the invitation. Oh, Ibuki just just brought the invitation. It's definitely her. <laughs> well then, Ibuki has some preparation, so I'll go on ahead. I'll leave it to you. She just said preparation. She's completely behind me. Um, Titty Typhoon <laughs> is that music venue on the third island, right? 9 p.m. That's in 30 minutes. Even though it's a party for Fuyuhiko's recovery, is he even going to be able to come? 
After all, it just slit his stomach this morning. She took the trouble to do this out of goodwill. I guess I should head over to the music venue. All right, boys, we're heading to Titty, Titty Typhoon. Several people are already arrived at the music venue, but... For you, Hiko, why are you... Huh? What, is it bad I came? No, not that. Is it okay for you to move around? It's gonna be fine. Yeah, it's nothing. There's no way you're okay. You're seriously injured. Even so. They took the time to throw a party for me. There's no way I wouldn't come. But... I understand how you feel, but you really shouldn't overwork yourself. So... I'm not overdoing it. Jeez. Fine then. Just let him do whatever he wants. But... Huh? It's fine. Just let him be. Apparently, Yakuza have pain tolerance down to an art. I can't believe he's actually forcing himself to join this kind of event. The old Fuyuhiko probably wouldn't wouldn't have come no matter how much we invited him. He's probably trying his very best to change. Hey. But it looks like Hiyoko definitely didn't come. That seems to be the case. Huh? And Akane's not here too? Hmm. What? What is this wild woman off doing? I hope she's not planning to do anything strange. As if on cue, right when Nekomaru expresses unease, that's when it happened. My. Oh my. Suddenly the stage lit up very brightly, and the person who appeared was. Hey y'all! It's Ibuki Miyota! Thanks for coming out today! My specialty is making beef stew! <laughs> I may not look like it, but people tell me that I'm a nurturing type. So I'm gonna do my very best performance so I can make everyone feel better. I hope you're all pumped up. Just as I thought, that's what she was going for. Well, she is the ultimate musician after all. I can't imagine what else she'd do at a music venue. Alright, I'll start singing this first song with full on energy. Mm -hmm. So, put your hands together for From Me to You Too. Since she was originally a member of a high school girls band that dominated the music charts, I could probably look forward to her musical stylings. It was okay. I was expecting better, I'm not gonna lie, but it was okay. Ah! Gonna get cursed! What? Such an overwhelming bell for resonance. Even my four dark devils of destruction look less lively than usual. Something like this. I too am starting to feel chills. With a title like from me to you, I thought it was gonna be a sweet love song. If I recall, the reason why Ibuki left the high school girls band was creative differences. That must be why. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome! That's the first time I ever heard such a famous song. Hiyoka? I'm glad. Ah, you came. <laughs> so what if I did? I was invited too, you know? But... But if you're attending Fuyuhiko's recovery party, that means you've already... Are you stupid? Don't misunderstand. There's no way I forgive him that easily. Hey. Cause he's Yakuza, you know. The type of person who preys on people by tricking them. Even now, he's probably just pretending to be sorry so he could trick us. Please wait. There's no way that is possible. I know. No, I get why she think that of me. Huh. Yeah, that's right. That's why we're never gonna believe in you. 
get it? This doesn't this doesn't mean we've made up made up or anything. I'm only cooperating with you until we get off this island. So... Just remember, if anything happens, you're the first one that's gonna get cut off. Sorry. I'm glad. I'm really, really glad. Don't cry! Pigs have no right to cry. You're grossing me out. I see. Huyohiko's not the only one who's trying to change. She's also trying, huh? The old Hiyoko. There's no way she would have ever forgiven Fuyuhiko like this. Whoa. Hey, what are you looking at? Nothing. Somehow, even though it was little by little, I feel things are starting to turn around. But that's all the more reason to worry about him, Monokuma. There's no way he's not going to do anything while he's watching us like this, right? Boring. Hey, how much longer are you guys going to be bummed out? I came all the way here because you said it was a party. Yay! Come on, Ibuki, hurry and start the next song. Hold on. Let's go right ahead to the next song. Okay. Uh, there's still more. Now that this recovery party is in full swing, I've got a ballad prepared that totally fits the mood. Grab a partner and slow dance too. I squeezed out the baby, but I have no idea who the father is. What? Stop it! <laughs> hey, what is everyone doing here? Whoa, Monami. Hey, don't interfere. I was enjoying such a fun party, too. I wasn't invited to the party? <laughs> Obviously not. You'd ruin the party if you were here. Whoa. But seriously, not the time. Not the time to enjoy a fun party. Why? <laughs> Akane, Akane is... Akane is dueling Monokuma. What? What did you say? <laughs> At this point, Akane is going to be in danger. Please do something to save her. It looks like my bad feeling was correct. That stupid fool! No, I'm the one who was the fool. It was my mistake not to keep my eyes on her. As a team manager, I should have had a proper grasp of my athlete's private life. Dang it! This failure will haunt me for the rest of my life! Or my name isn't Nekomaru Nirai! Um. Now's not the time for regret. Let us make haste. Of course! Fuyuhiko finally returned to us. The thought of anyone else in our group getting taken. I won't allow it! I will never allow it! Hey, Monami, where's Akane and Monokuma? Um... They're at the beach when we first arrived at the island. Please hurry, if you don't, Akane's gonna get killed. You don't have to tell me, I'm going full speed ahead! We should hurry too. Nekomara bolted from the music venue and fancy his legs to take him and we followed him soon after. I should hurry too. Hey everyone. What? Thanks, thanks everyone. No, that's not it. I know I'm kind of in deep trouble, but you guys suck. Who does have big comfort? If this were a song title, it would be salt seeping into my broken heart. I don't really get it, but you look pretty bummed out. Come on, you guys shouldn't make a fuss. So let's hurry up and get to the beach already. Akane. Akane, please, Akane, please, Akane, Akane, please, Akane, don't do this to me, please, Akane, Akane, please, Akane, Akane please, Akane, please, Akane. Hey, Chiaki, what are you doing? We gotta get to the beach. Hold it. Calm down. Huh? Well? It's true we need to hurry, but there's no way you can make a good decision if you're so worked up. What if we don't hurry? Akane is... It's for the sake of saving Akane too. We don't know what's beyond this point. That's why we need to stay calm, I think. Yeah, got it, I'm okay now. Then let's go. Akane, please! After running their full sprint, by the time I got to the beach, I struggled to regain my breath. I saw a shocking scene unfold before me. Akane, looks like you're just barely avoiding any fatal injuries. Yep. At least your agility is worthy of praise. But did you only challenge me just so you could show me your sweet dance moves? <laughs> Damn it! Why can't I even graze you with my attacks? Well, you know, we're on completely different levels. That means we view the world differently. It's like a character from a punk manga challenging an enemy from a super-powered battle manga. <laughs> it's obvious you can't win! 
Is she really serious about not even grazing it? Akane is just fighting a stuffed animal. Monokuma is an advanced machine. If it's designed for combat, it's probably capable of exerting such power. However, as far as speed is concerned, Akane is far faster than any athlete I've ever seen. And she says she can't even grace him with her attacks. Is that even possible? <laughs> However, because it's possible, that's why she's in this situation, right? As long as she's ended up like that, there's not much we can really do about it. At the very least, we should overcome the despair of Akane's death and use it to fuel and to use it as fuel to boister our hope. Right. Like Fuyuhiko did, you see? Don't fuck with me. I never want to feel that feeling ever again. If I have to feel that way again, I'll make sure I stop it, even if I cost me my life. Ah. No, you can't. You're really die if you keep overexerting yourself. Yeah. It's... It's just a little life Peko gave me. It's not precious anyway. Yeah. You stupid idiot! That's all the more reason you need to take care of it! Don't stop me! You guys stay back. I'll take it from here. This is Nekomaru Nidai's final firework. Make sure you sear it into your eyes. Then. It looks like everyone's here, so I might as well finish this. Didn't I say I won't allow any rule violations against me? This is what happens when you break the rules. Disappear. The world shook and turned stark white as if the surrounding scenery and every sound was blown away by the impact. It was all completely white, and within that white I heard a voice. Uh, uh, ne Nekomaru! Ne Nekomaru, why did you say... <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Supporting their athletes is a manager's duty. However, what a shame for someone like Nekomaru Nidai to... who was just a little shot from a bazooka. I really am the worst. <laughs> Get a hold of yourself, Nekomaru! Dang, man. Akane, the time I've spent with you, it... it wasn't so bad. Don't... Die, Akane. Nakamaru! Are you kidding me? Instead of a rule violator, Akane. What the hell? What a major failure! I ended up killing Nekumar, who had nothing to do with this! Hey! Hold on! It's faint, but his heart is still beating! He's not dead yet! <laughs> then you gotta hurry and treat him! Yeah. Hey, Monokuma, you can do something about this, right? Save Nekumar like you saved me! Hey, hey! That's right! If you kill someone who didn't violate the rules, that makes you the one who violated the rules! Well? Then let's just say we're even. <laughs> In exchange for forgiving Akane for breaking the rules, let's just say Nekumaru was a sacrifice. Yeah! So isn't it okay to say we're even? Hey. You're not gonna save him? Jeez, guess I have no choice. It's annoying, but it'd be boring if he died a meaningless death. So... For today only, I'll activate my special trump card. And that's when it happened, the sound started ringing out of nowhere. And it gradually came closer and closer. Once again? Just leave the rest to me, Dr. Killgood. He even recycled the same line again. We gotta get this patient to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24 hour observation stat. So, I'll see you later. And after he said that, the ambulance containing, containing Monokuma and Nakamura vanished from our sight. What the hell? Why did this happen? What's going on? Hey, he's gonna be all right, right? Nakamura's gonna be saved, right? Of course he's gonna, obviously gonna be saved. 
But Fuyuhiko finally returned to us. I cannot believe Nekomaru was gone now. No, no, no more. I can't stand this anymore. Hey, hey can't you stop yelling? Screaming won't help, you know? Cause, cause... I'll go. This isn't cuz. This is what happened when we let our guard down. All this talk about everyone getting along, we were just fooling ourselves. <laughs> we were just pretending we understood the situation we're in. Teamwork, friendship, cooperation, nothing matters. The stupid ones will just be killed one after another. It won't be a mystery when you're eventually betrayed. That's why I'm never going to rely on anyone. That's the reality here. <sighs> Are you saying it is meaningless for us to even work together? Shut up! If it really did have meaning, Nekumaru wouldn't have ended like, up like that. <laughs> he ended up like that because of his weird feelings of friendship. You. Hey, you understand too, right? When the stupid ones try to act on their own, it makes trouble for everyone else. So can you please not involve me? I don't want to die a meaningless death. That is... Hiyoko, blaming Akane will not solve anything. Huh. We don't have to worry about catching Coach Nekomaru. Huh? Huh. Man, that's disappointing. It's all your fault and you're not even worried about him. Oh. Akane, you're not worried about Nekomaru? D damn it! There's no need to worry about worrying. I know Ke Coach Nekomaru is a monstrous guy. There's no way he's going to die for something like that. There's no doubt, Nekomaru is going to come back. Damn it. So when that happens, I'll make sure I apologize to him. Because I was too weak and I caused him trouble. So when he comes back, I'll make sure I say I'm sorry. Akane. As we all returned to our cottages, we, we were silent. Even if we opened our mouths, only words of worry would come out. We all knew that. When we saw Nekomaru's tragedy happen right in front of us, once again we were all taught. If you think you won't die, well that's just wishful thinking. On this island, without any warning, people die. That is the nightmare we're trapped in. When you think you've finally woken up from the nightmare, you realize you're still in it. And thus the nightmare continues. Monokuma Super Fable Story 58 A Tengu Came Down From The Mountain There was a village that was afraid of Tengu showing up. The Tengus apparently did as they pleased, such as stealing food and kidnapping women. But is this really the Tengu's fault? Isn't it actually the human's fault for ruining nature by destroying the mountains where the Tengus live? You think monsters are scary? It's humans that are the scary ones. Everyone, now is the time to rise up against humans. We must protect nature from the humans and return the world to its peaceful place where monsters roam free. Bring it on! Monokuma Super Fables The End Ahem! Hope speak good morning every- Now then! As usual, even if I say that, it doesn't matter anymore. But greeted the, but I greeted the morning without having slept at all. I really wanted to see somebody, anybody, as fast as I could. Felt like I had to share this anxious feeling with someone. I just couldn't deal with it alone. I should go to the restaurant for now. Fuyuhiko, how's it going? Yo. Oh, it's you, Hajime. Huh. Even in such an abnormal situation, people still get hungry. Damn it. Nakamaru. What did that bastard mean by his final firework? That line's more suited to a Yakuza anyway. Nakamura must have wanted to protect the Konig at all costs, just like how Pekka wanted to protect you. You shut up. Don't say another word. Sorry. Just go on ahead to the restaurant. I'll come later. Eh. Huh? As I was walking to the restaurant, I unintentionally felt my feet come to a swift halt. <laughs> From inside the restaurant, I heard the sound of a girl crying. Is someone crying inside? Mikan or is it Hiyoko? While peeking into the restaurant, I slowly stepped inside. That sounded like a kind of. Huh? A kind of, you're the one who's crying? I'm scared. What's gonna happen to us? I'm scared. 
What happened? Could she be in shock about what happened to Nekomaru? But yesterday she was acting braver. Dog, what happened, bro? Yo, what happened to Akane? Is she acting kind of weird? Hajime, be careful. That's probably not the real Fuyuhiko. What? I know, the real Fuyuhiko is already dead. That's why that's probably Fuyuhiko's clone. What are you saying? Hey. Also, I heard from Monokuma that Nekomaru couldn't be saved. It's unfortunate, but a transfer student is apparently going to come as a replacement. <laughs> so let's all give that person a warm welcome. You're you're messing around. It's the truth. I'm not messing around. I always speak the truth. Right. In order to prove it, I'll explain it specifically to you. Listen carefully. Hansme, I've discovered who the traitor is. <laughs> you know the true identity of World Ender? The traitor who was hiding among us is no mistake. Byakuya. That's right, Byakuya is alive. He's been weird from the start, but isn't he acting much weirder than usual? Hey, it's definitely best if we keep Nagito tied up. No, not just tied up. Oh. I won't be satisfied until I peel the skin off his face and expose the meat so we can't identify him anymore. That doesn't sound very gentle. Did he do something to you? <laughs> that idiot. He lied to me about Mahiru being alive and said he saw her at the movie theater. Why? Why is he telling such a pointless lie? <laughs> I don't know. I hate being lied to. Jeez. I won't feel satisfied until all his joints are bent at awkward angles. It'd probably be a waste of time to find out the reason for each little thing Nagito does, but I don't get it at all. Why did he have to tell such an outrageous lie? <laughs> but what happened, Akane? It's not like you to cry. Get a grip on yourself. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, Nekomaru got killed, you know? What are you saying? It's not like Nekomaru's dead yet. I'm scared. I don't want this anymore. <laughs> Let me go back home! She must be so shocked that Nekumaro sacrificed himself for her. No, there mu there's no way that explains the change is sudden and drastic. Was that Ibuki? Pardon me, everyone, but do you have some? Do you happen to have some time to spare? Hello, my it name may is be, Ibuki Miyoda. It may be rude of me, but I would like to say my greetings first thing in the morning. Good morning. I look forward to working with you all today. Ibuki. Yes, I'm Ibuki Miyoda. Aren't you acting strange too? Wait. Be careful, Ibuki. Hajime is dangerous. He wants to kill you and eat you. What are you talking about? Yes. Mr. Hajime, I am not tasty. Please do not eat me. He's obviously lying. I see, so it was a lie. It's the truth. It's not a lie. I never tell lies. Understood. I see, so it is not a lie. It may be necessary for me to beg for my life after all. What the heck is this? Akane, Nagito, Ibuki, they're all acting strange. What is going on? Um... Did they go crazy or something? It wouldn't be strange to go crazy in a situation like this. That's not it. Yes. Ibuki has an extremely high fever. That's probably the cause. That's weird. Before you start talking weird, I want you to tell me something. Who the hell are you? Why, Why have you forgotten me? I'm Mikasumiki. <laughs> anyway, please try touching your forehead. If you do, you'll see what I mean. My hand to her forehead. Ibuki, just a second. Understood. In exchange, please spare my life. I softly placed my hand on Ibuki's forehead while she would continue to spout gibberish. She's hot. What is this? This heat is abnormal. Yes. That's right, she has a terribly high fever. Then could the others. Akana, let me feel your forehead too. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so weak. I placed my hand on Akana's forehead while she groaned and kept sobbing. That must be it, she has such a high fever. There's no way that's a normal human body temperature. Nagato, you too. <laughs> I don't have a fever. I feel extremely great today. I placed my hand on the forehead and once again, I got the same result. What? All three of them have fevers? Then the reason those guys are saying such wacky stuff is... Emergency. Emergency. My goodness, that's obviously bad. Monokuma. For him to appear right now, does this mean this is... Just a minute. Whoa there, can you wait just, just, can you wait just a second for the explanation? The others are on their way too. Just as Monokuma said, I heard a sound of pounding footsteps. Everyone who gathered all had confused expressions plastered on their face. What's going on? Now what? Hey, hey. I heard it from Monokuma. It looks like something strange is going on again. Did something happen to you guys? Now, 
it looks like everyone's here. Now then, let's start with the explanation. Wait. Hold on. Monokuma, you're pulling a prank again, aren't you? And what happened to Nekomaru? Hurry up and return him first, you robber bear. Hmm? Nekomaru? Are you talking about the boy who turns into a woman when he gets splashed with water? Who is that? Who the heck is that? Nekomaru doesn't have a, a, a weird ability like that. He's talking about that red-haired dude. I forgot what his name is, but I don't think it was Nekomaru, though. It was like Ranga. It was Ranga, wasn't it? Dang, now I want to know what it was. It was like... Ranga one half. Ranma! It's Ranma! Ranma! Jeez, shut up! Yeah! Ah, I don't even know what's been done to me, but I feel a mysterious like energy. We need to normalize abusing Monami. Now that I've shut up the nuisance, Let's go back to the topic at hand. Though, I'm pretty sure you guys have already noticed since you're all so quick-witted. So this is I thought the true identity of this high fever is. That's right. That's right. This is the new motive that I've given you. It's the despair disease. What the? Despair disease? Actually. You know, there are extremely tiny insects that can't be seen with the naked eye living on this island. It's true. It's not that I've, it's not like I've added them recently. I just never told you about them. Anyway, the epidemic disease spread by these insects is called the despair disease. <laughs> despair disease? I've never heard of such a thing. Well? Then let me tell you about it. As the name suggests, the despair disease is a really, no a really annoying disease where you get a high fever along with various symptoms that are full of despair. Those symptoms are different based on the person. For instance, Nagito is afflicted by the liar disease. Akane has the coward disease. Ibuki has the gullible disease, I guess. What? They just had to get symptoms that are the opposite of their normal personalities. Except for Nagito. Hey, um... It's not like all you guys are down with the sickness yet. But be careful. Sometimes the despair disease can get passed from person to person just like a cold. Huh? You mean it's contagious? <laughs> don't put your guard down just because you don't have the disease. It'd be awful if everyone got it. Hey, 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 hey. Let's run, Miss Sonya. It'd be terrible if you caught the lily disease of the common folks. That's right, let's run away. I don't want to catch such a weird disease. Why? And why is that a motive? Are you saying that a killing will occur after everyone falls into a crazy state? Phew. Isn't this quite the novel idea? I can't wait! I can't wait! A killing that occurs while everyone has a completely different personality. Think of all the murder tricks. Is there any way to treat it? Why? Why is there a need to treat it? I mean, the despair disease is supposed to make you suffer. Yeah. It's a disease that cures your soft hearts. Your soft heart towards killing. And with this, you can finally take the plunge and commit murder. You, you bastard, you better stop talking about this bull crap. <laughs> it's all my fault, I'm sorry for always bothering you. All right. I've decided. As an apology, I'm going to commit murder. Is there any charcoal briquettes here somewhere? I'm pretty sure I found some at the supermarket. Stop it! Akane, Nagito, Ibuki, you gotta stay put. Hey. You're wrong, I'm not Nagito. To tell you the truth, Nagito Kamaida is a fake name. I'm sorry I kept it a secret till now. Understood. Oh, I see. What the? She's believing him again? So serious. Amazing. Man, whatever, I feel so great today. This despair disease is awesome. <laughs> despair, 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 despair. It's amazing, you all should get it too. We're all done for. There's no such thing as hope. We all have to die from this despair disease. That's the only way. He collapsed. Nagito. And now that I've given you a new motive, how will things develop? Will the killing start after everyone gets the despair disease or even before that? Chills, chills, chills kills. I'm so excited about it, I'm just gonna stand around naked. Bring it on. Just kidding, I'm always naked. Hey! Dang it. Nakamura's incident just happened. We already gotta deal with this dude. Where did that peaceful mood that lasted till yesterday go? And this is. What the freak? This is bad. Nagito's foaming at the mouth. 
She's right. I've never seen that foam, a foam cat color before. Impossible. It is a ephemerally rare color. Normally only though only in front of the depths of the nether netherworld sea. In that case, the color doesn't matter. So let's hurry on over to the hospital. Got it. I'll help out. Please wait. What should we do about Akane and Ibuki? Anyway. We're definitely going to bring them too. We don't know what they'll do if we leave them alone. Hey, bastards, can you walk? Yes. Allow me to confirm. I just have to alternate the movements on my left and right leg, correct? Ah! Oh, no, I don't walk, so don't leave me. Then let's go. With the disease in tow and Nagito's condition was clearly worsening. We rushed over to the hospital, but this kind of motive is impossible. An actual despair disease? And there's a possibility that it might be passed along? What the heck? Dang it, what should I do? I will go make the infected change their clothes, and then I'll have them sleep in the patient's room. Understood. So I have to change my clothes. So I just have to change my clothes, correct. I'm scared of changing! Anyway, everyone, please wait here. As she supported all three of them with their shoulders, Mikan disappeared into the depths of the hospital. Damn it! Dang it, I never expected us to get sick. What's gonna happen? Let me tell you this. I would not mind if Nagito retired permanently. Maybe. If Mikan's gonna change their clothes, what's wrong with that? Well. Does that include Nagito too? Isn't that a little bad? <laughs> There's no need to panic. Even I attend to the needs of my four dark divas of destruction. Hey, hey, hey. No love hamsters and a teenage boy together. Um, hey, is this stupid conversation gonna last much longer? Hey. Shouldn't we seriously be thinking about what we're gonna do from now on? What we need to do from now on, huh? Jeez. That disease sure does look dangerous. Nagito, Akane, and Ibuki aren't acting normal. If it's fresh anyone else, a killing is bound to happen. Let me tell you. This. Based on their observed behavior, I cannot deny that. But... But those guys aren't being considerate. I want them to at least have the decency to consider committing suicide before they start bothering us. That is... Hey, Hiyoko. <laughs> I know, it can't be that easy. So it's important to make sure we don't end up casting the disease. Make sure, what do you mean? Which cockroach said that? Jeez, why don't you get it? We need to isolate them from us so we don't spread the disease. Isolate? You. If you can't cure it, the only option is to stop it from spreading. Even a preschooler knows that. But still, isn't isolating them a bit too harsh? Hey, if everyone catches the spread disease, we won't be able to do anything about it anymore, you know? This is bad. You're right. There's no way we should allow it to spread. Hold on a second. Hey, hey. Isolation. You mean we need to quarantine them inside the hospital, right? Chiaki, don't tell me you also agree with this. That's wrong. It's to prevent a killing. As long as that disease is Monokuma's motive, if we just ignore it, a killing will happen again. To prevent that, we also have to prevent the disease from spreading. That's why we need to quarantine them. Like... If we even if we quarantine them, who's going to take care of them? <laughs> Mikan's going to stay here anyway. She's been touching the infected all over, so it's possible she's already caught the disease. But there's no way we can leave her by herself. Hey. Then why don't you stay too? Huh? huh? Now that I think about it, you touched them when you took their temperature, right? Oh. <laughs> so I'll leave the rest of you. Contact me if something happens. Contact? I was supposed to do that. Jeez. All right. We didn't think of a way of communication. If we keep meeting in person, we could catch the disease. Hey, you. So I'll let you handle that, Kazuichi. Uh. Yeah, I got it. Fuck. Fret not. We are not going to abandon you. I shall station myself nearby in case anything happens. Nearby? There is a motel on this island. Until this matter is resolved, we shall stay the night there. Aww. What? Do we really have to stay at such a dirty place? Silence. What are we supposed to do if we can't immediately get here if something happens? Also, if that disease is airborne, the hotel on the first island might already be unsafe. This is the Tanaka Empire! We must be vigilant about protection. I have those who I must protect. You... It's just hamsters, dude. That is an unkind thing to say, you fiend! How dare you call my four Dark Davis of Destruction hamsters? Jeez. Fine, I'll just stay at the hotel motel, okay? How annoying. <laughs> Even if it's a quarantine, we're still gonna be on the same island, so just call if something happens. Huh? What are you frustrated about? I don't like this. 
This is obviously a trap. Monokuma's goal is to separate us as a group. Is it really okay for us to fall for that? It's not like we've stopped being friends. I just don't want a killing to happen ever again. We can't prevent that if everyone gets sick, you know? You know, right? Yeah, that's right, man. There's no way we're gonna lose together here, you know? That's right. Cause if that happens, then Monokuma gets what he wants. Hey, Hiyoko. What did you say to me earlier? Something about me being the first one to get cut off? And? W what's wrong with that? Huh. This must be that moment. It's not like Mikan and Hajime are enough people. You. Are you saying you're gonna stay here too? Huh, you too? <laughs> this life of mine is a spare anyway. <laughs> Fine then, do whatever you want. Hey, Fuyuhiko, are you sure? You might be endangering yourself, you know? Jeez. Hey, don't make me repeat myself. Hey, hey. You're really, really okay with this? Then I'm gonna leave the rest to you too. <laughs> Whatever's happening over there, just leave it to us. We'll make sure to keep the disease from spreading. Come on, couldn't you guys head over to the motel before you catch the disease? I am sorry. I am sorry we were forcing this upon you like this. Nah, whatever everyone's saying, what everyone's saying is true, so it's okay. Thanks. Thank you, both of you. I won't let your feelings go to waste. We'll make sure to find out the mystery of the despair disease while you're all here. I think. I think, probably. I preferred if she was more if she had a more confident sounding catchphrase. Um. Now then I shall excuse myself. I'm counting on you. <laughs> I think I'll make sure to figure out some way of communication later. Bye! Bye bye! Do your best and try to stay alive. Just like that, the others have left, leaving me and Fuyuhiko at their hotel at his hospital. Never expected it would turn out like this. Jeez. It's not like it's their fault, it's that bastard Monokuma's fault. I can't believe he'd actually arrange something as irritating as a disease. Hello. Uh, th thank you for waiting. <laughs> they finally finished changing. Everyone's resting in their rooms. <laughs> huh? Why is it just you two? Huh? Um, you know. <laughs> uh, I know. They must have left to get fruits to bring back. <laughs> I thought that was something. Yeah, everyone is so kind. I'm so glad. So glad everyone's so thoughtful toward their friends. Well. Well, like I said, we're all equals when we're sick. Let's all work together and do our very best. Hajime, I'm sorry, but I'll let you handle the explanation. That's quite the burden I have to bear. And so we decided to split into two groups. In the hospital, there are three people who caught the disease. There are also Mikan who's nursing them back to health. As a safeguard for Yuhiko and myself to get all together with six people staying at the hotel. Chiaki, Gun, everybody else are staying at the motel on the same island. As for Nakamaru, he's not back yet, but anyway, until we do something about the despair disease, our current situation is going to change. But we have no clue what we need to do. Seriously, what should we do? Huh? I suddenly woke up. And if I woke up, that means I fell asleep without realizing it. Earlier, I discussed it with Fuyuhiko and we decided we'd take turns resting. That's right. I came to the on-call room on the second floor of the hospital. I haven't been sleeping well the past few days, so sudden drowsiness overtook me. And I was sleeping, which is a good thing, but my body feels really heavy for some reason. No, it's not just heavy. It feels somewhat soft and... Yes, sir! Oh my lord. Hajime? Yeah. Uh, Hajime, are you okay? Your complexion is a bluish purple shade. It might be a severe cy cy cyanot... What? What? Cy cyanotic reaction. Hajime, can you hear me? Get a hold of yourself. Mikan finally got off of me, grabbed my shoulders, and began shaking me intensely. Somehow that was enough to get my consciousness to drift back to reality. Ah! Hajime! Ah, uh, Hajime, you've regained consciousness. Oh, I'm so glad I thought you died. 
Me too. I thought I was gonna die. I'm sorry. I thought about taking a rest in the on-call room, but you were already asleep, so... That doesn't mean you can climb on top of me. Then I'll be on the bottom next time. That That's not what I'm talking about. Hey, hey. What are you are you guys doing? Fuyuhiko. No, this is... <laughs> uh, hey, come on. Look, I hope you don't get the wrong idea. Don't tell me. Were you guys sleeping together? You dirty, rotten bastard. You guys are freaking high school students. Seriously, you got it all wrong. Damn it. We don't have time for that. Nagito, he's in danger. What? When I peeked inside his room earlier, it looked like he wasn't breathing. <laughs> this is bad. Now's not the time for us to rest. Mikan vigorously leapt out of the bed and ran out of the on-call room. Damn it. Hajime, not another time for you to be pitching a tent. We need to hurry. Seriously, I'm not. Bro, just get on with it. We need to go. Bro's about to die. For you, Hiko, when I chased after Mikan as she ran into Nagito's room. On the real, bro? Please just let this man die. Nagito, get please get a hold of yourself. Despite Mikan's desperate please, I didn't see Nagito react at all. Don't tell me. There's no way he died, right? The body discovery announcement isn't playing, right? Fidget, fidget. What was that? He's totally waiting for it. Damn it. This looks very bad. Despite Mikan's desperate cries, I didn't see Nagito react at all. We might have to shoot him or something, like hit him. Like th throw a baseball bat at him. This looks very bad. Mikan, Mi, uh, Mikan, is Nagito all right? Uh, uh, it looks like his breathing has returned. Really? But still, his condition is unpredictable, and that's putting it lightly. Hey, hey! How light is that? Is it sweet potato soft? Well. If so, that's pretty light. Please don't interfere. Hey, hey look, Nagito, isn't Nagito's mouth moving? You're right, he might be trying to say something. <laughs> Nagito, what happened? As she said his name, Mikan slowly tilted her ear toward Nagito's lips. What did he say? Um, Apparently his condition has approved and he feels quite refreshed. Since Monokuma said that Nagito has a liar disease, he probably means the opposite and actually feels really crappy. Like, but what's gonna happen if he just dies? We're not gonna have a class trial, right? Uh, Don't talk like that! Nagito was never gonna die. I'll save him by any means necessary. I see. I see. Got it. Then I leave Nagito's life to you. Yes. Far from her usual self, Mikan responded assertively and went back to tending to Nagito. If we stay here any longer, we might just get in the way. Damn right. <laughs> Bro, then follow me. While you were resting, the goods arrived. I gotta go show them to you. The goods aren't something dangerous, right? Anyway. Then let's go to the lobby. Alright, bro. Come on. Let's get up out of here, gang. Oh, snap. Uh, oop. Jump scare. You good, Ibuki? Yes. You came to visit to see how I'm doing. Thank you very much for your courtesy. Is it okay for you to be awake? You should be resting in bed. Understood. Thank you very much for your consideration. I shall head, I shall heed your kind attitude and take a rest. Compared to Nagito, Ibuki seems fine. Are there individual differences in the symptoms too? I'm scared. I don't want to be in the hospital. I want to go home. It's going to be okay. You don't have to worry. For you, Hiko and I are here, so don't cry. I've never seen a kind of cry like that. I don't really know what to do. Hey, bro. Hey. It get wicked. I don't know what I I don't know what that means. I do not like that. What? The on car room. Oh, is this where we were? I was resting. I'm looking for. Oh crap. I'm looking for Nekomaru. I want to see if I can find him. No, seriously. This room is. 
A lot of chairs in Delhi. I guess it's like a conference room. No, seriously, where's Nekomaru? He should be in the hospital. I do not like that animation at all. It bothers me for some reason. Hey, Fuyuhiko, what did you mean when you said goods? Right. <laughs> Look at top of the reception desk. On top of the reception desk. Oh, is that a communication device? Fuyuhiko is talking about this, right? It looks like a monitor and a camera unit. Yo, what is this? Huh. Perfect timing. The blue light is blinking. Does something happen when it blinks? Seeing is believing, as they say. Try pressing the button just below the blue light. I just have to press the button. I did what Fuyuhiko said and pressed the button. What's up? Hey, is this Hajime? Hey, loud and clear. Looks like it's perfectly connected. Kazuichi's. Then this is. Huh. Yeah, that's right. That's the way the communicator was talking about. Looks like it's time for the ultimate mechanic to shine. How about it? This is what I've been working on. <laughs> Remember that alley with all the shady looking street booths? That's where I found this. It's a surveillance ca- What the freak? It's a surveillance camera for household use. And I just tweaked it a little bit. <laughs> so now it's basically a video chat device. Well, that's pretty hit or miss. Video chat, huh? It. It's true, we don't have to worry about getting infected with this. That's right. This was only a This was only a test run, so I guess it should be pretty fun. Okay then, see you later. Because of which you left us while you were resting. Damn right. The surveillance camera unit comes with a surveillance camera and a surveillance monitor. Anything the camera records is broadcast live on the monitor. So it prepared two of these sets and swapped each of their cameras. I see by swapping the cameras, his monitor will display what's on my camera and vice versa. Apparently he also modified it a little. He widened his narrow communication range beyond just household use. Even so. But even so, we still had a limit, so apparently the signal can't reach from the hospital to the motel. Then we can't communicate between hospital and the motel. <laughs> you didn't notice? He was contacting you just now from the music venue near the motel. From there, the signal reaches the hospital with no problems. But they're staying at the motel, right? What happens if we can't reach them when we need to? Damn right. I thought the same thing, so I arranged times for us to contact each other. It's set up for us to communicate 30 minutes after Monokuma's morning and evening announcement. <laughs> Our next contact with them is gonna be tomorrow morning. Don't sleep in. He's well prepared. I suspected of the air of an enormous organization. Huh? Uh, what is it? Nothing. Ahem! Oops, it is now. Please return. Now then, sweet. Now then. It's that time already, huh? Now then, where should I sleep tonight? <laughs> Are you planning to use that on-call room with a certain someone again? Like I said, it's not what it looked like. You guys. Hey, hey, aren't you misunderstanding? What are you thinking? A hospital is a facility for sick people. So it's not for lodgings or young romantic triads, you know? You too, what are you on about? I don't like this. Oh, I see. Your generation has fallen out of the habit of looking at bulletin boards. Come on, take a look at the bulletin board. There's a notice on there, right? A notice on a bulletin board. A bulletin board notice. Is he talking about this? Eat, uh, high school potassium. Eating and drinking is forbidden within the hospital building. If patients do not need to be accompanied, overnight stays by non-patients are expressly forbidden. Right? It's like the notices you often see inside hospitals. You can't stay overnight here. What are you saying? There is one patient who needs to be out accompanied. Hmm. Oh, you're talking about Nagito, right? 
Then I'll allow just one person to accompany him. The rest of you need to hurry up and get out of here. Jeez. Hospital precautions, my rear end. He should have said so sooner. Only one person can stay tonight, and there's no way we can leave Mikan. We can make Mikan leave. Jeez, you're I guess. I guess we have no choice. We should head back to our cottages then. Yeah, you're right. If we stay, if we stay here, we probably won't be able to get any do anything. After explaining the circumstances to Mikan, we decided to go back to our cottages for the time being. So Fuyuhiko and I are going to be the only ones sleeping in our cottages tonight. I'm a little worried. No, the ones who are stuck in the hospital should be more worried. What's the point of me getting so worried? Alright, when I wake up tomorrow, I'll go to the hospital right away. I feel bad leaving me kind of alone. I guess for now, I should try to get some sleep. Monokuma appears! Good evening! It's time for Monokuma's cooking class. Today we are going to learn how to make taiyaki. The first thing you'll need is a time machine. We will travel back in time to the Meiji period and meet a person named Seijiro Kanbe. He used to bake and sell turtle shaped pastries, but unfortunately they never sold all that well. It's important that you gently cheer him up because he's going to be disappointed in himself when you meet him. From there get serious and insist that he try making his pastries fish shaped because they'll sell better. Once that happens, he'll happily bake his pastries in the shape of a fish. And as a final touch, name these pastries Taiyaki. Okay, with this, you finish making Taiyaki. Brought to you by Monokuma. This concludes Monokuma's cooking class. I'll definitely give that a shot. Ahem. Good. Now then, let's show some... All right, that's the end of the episode, guys. Peace out. Love y'all. Tap in next time if you enjoy it. Like and subscribe. Holy crap, this, bro, this, this recording was a freaking roller coaster. Like, bro, we woke up. That boy, what happened when we woke up? I forgot. We woke up. That boy Fuyuhiko was chilling. We had a, a party with Hiyoko. Freaking Nakomaru got clapped up. Now everybody's like weird oh my goodness i don't know what the freak is going on but it don't matter that's the end of the episode peace out love you guys if you enjoyed like and subscribe tap in for the next one